I am honored and grateful that you have invited me to your daughter's wedding on the day of your daughter's wedding. And I hope that their first child will be a masculine child. I pledge my ever ending loyalty. Tonight, the Godfather, the Godfather, motherfuckers, the Godfather on the Final Call Movie Review Show. What's up, y'all? I'm Mason, and this is J Dove. And we are the Final Call Movie Review Show. Tonight, we're reviewing The Godfather. The Godfather came out in 1972. It's directed by Francis Ford Coppola. And it is written by Mario Puzo. And Francis Ford Coppola helped, helped him with the screenplay. And these guys, they killed it. They absolutely killed it. I mean, the direction in this movie is phenomenal. It stars, it stars Marlon Brando and Al Pacino and James Caan. I mean, this movie is, it's incredible. It's perfect from start to finish. There's no flaws in this film. It, you know, it might not be your cup of tea, but you, you can't, like, find flaws in it. It's like the perfect film. Its direction is perfect. It goes from scene to scene to scene. Everything is exactly right. There's nothing out of place. It's, <laughs> it's Perfect. I love it. How can you not like this movie? You got Don Corleone, you know, and he's running things, but everybody wants a little taste, everybody wants some help. All kinds of drama comes from him trying to not help out with the drug trade in the early 40s, I guess it is. About that time. Yeah, yeah, it's about the 40s. It's like WW2 times. Yeah, it's just after, it's probably 46, 48 maybe. Like, it's after the war, because Michael comes home from the war. That's right. So, yeah, but it's great, man. Holy shit. James Caan. I mean, these people are amazing. This movie is amazing. I don't, like, don't want to sit here and like, tell you all about it because it's fucking amazing. You should watch it. But Brando is just amazing. He's just, he's, Jesus. He reminds me of my Italian grandfather. Like, for real. Like, the, the way that you carry, he carries himself, the whole thing, man. Like, this movie is as authentic as it gets, and it's fucking awesome. And I tell you, I stand by this statement. Apollonia is way cooler than K. But you gotta watch the movie to fully understand. And I stand by that statement, and I always will. Apollonia was a whole lot more fun than K ever was. And... Keep in mind that this is part of our holiday special. We're, what is it, uh, jolly as fuck around here. And you might say, hey man, The Godfather's not a fucking Christmas movie. The hell it's not. There's some real shit happens to the dawn right around Christmas time. You know what I'm talking about if you've seen the movie. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't seen the movie, do yourself a favor and see, like, uh, like one of the greatest movies of all time. I mean... Just wait for my score. Brando holds it down with the littlest amount of dialogue possible. This movie is almost three hours long. He is the basis of this movie. Has maybe what? Maybe 50 lines? I mean, he, he keeps it simple. He doesn't have to say much. Doesn't have to say much. He's definitely not verbose. And to not give much away, but there is a scene where he is up in a hospital bed and just the the emotion coming from his face, he didn't have to say anything. It's just... Yeah. You felt it. Yeah. You feel it. Yeah. No subtitles, no nothing. No telepathy, no nothing. But another reason that this movie is so great is... You have Pacino, you have James Caan, you have uh, Robert Duvall, and this was like the breeding ground of pretty much the greatest actors of our generation into the past generation. 
You, you can't ask for more. It's than definitely that. some of the best actors ever, and it's uh, it's like I said, it's just perfect. The way it's directed, the way that it that it goes, there's nothing wasted. There's no wasted scene in this movie. You're not sitting there like, oh man, we gotta put up. Oh, this is the scene I always fast forward through. Like, you don't have anything like that. You don't skip anything. You don't go. Well, I'm gonna go make a sandwich now or whatever. Like. It's all like, it's perfect. To put Godfather in a perfect sense, this would be a perfect example of often imitated but never duplicated. Can't be done. Yeah, it's its own thing. It's its own thing. There's no competing with the Godfather. But uh, I guess on a scale from 1 to 100, what do you give it? I would give Godfather... I'm going to go with the 97. I'm going to go with uh, the big 100. First, is that our first ever? Only one I've ever done. Damn. And I certainly don't see too many more coming up in the future. But, uh, that's yeah. A, that's a rare goose. Or it's, it's a Christmas movie, and it's perfect. It's fucking perfect. You'll never see anything better movie-wise. You might see something more fun or more funny, but it ain't gonna be better. It ain't gonna be as quality certainly as The Godfather. Not. Certainly not. Certainly not. So, yeah. We both say see it, obviously. And thank you so much for watching. Check us out on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Give us a like. Give us a follow. Give us a subscribe, check us out, let us know what you think, comment, and uh, let us know what you'd like to see, and how we're messing up or how we're doing good, and thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you're at the movie theater, shh, and enjoy.